Hi guys, this is Steve A and this is Tarantula Tastic Enclosures. Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today we are doing the Evil Dead cabin enclosure. Now, if you've followed the channel for a while now, you realise that we actually done one of these um, probably a couple of years ago now. But the trouble with that one was it was a top opening acrylic enclosure. The visibility wasn't that great. Um, so what we decided to do, I wouldn't really like the enclosure itself, so we decided to redo it in obviously an exoterra which we're swapping all over to now and front opening enclosures it's a lot easier for myself it means i don't have to pull everything out of um the shelves to feed and water and all that sort of stuff because of the top opening ones so it's just plainly glass is a lot easier to clean as well so i do love the exoterras um without further ado we're going to get right down into this build as builders taken probably about 15, 16 hours in total. So we try and cram it into a, a little space as possible. So if you want to support the channel, please do watch till the end. It helps with my views and everything. I don't do merchandise and stuff, but you can support by just watching till the end. Thank you very much, guys. I really hope you enjoy this one and the outcome at the end. Cheers, guys. So guys, we're going to start off a 30 by 30 by 30 exo terror and this is one of my own design cabin hides and i've done a cabin hide enclosure before but we so sold it off um i really wanted to do another one that with these this design obviously i've made it so you can fit it into the corner this utilises a lot more space. So, let's see, it go up here. Because of the substrate level. So what we're going to do now, we're going to stick that into place because we're going to do um, a cocoa fibre-ish sort of background around it. So with that stuck in place, what I like to do is I like to bring branches out the sides of some of these enclosures. Gives it a bit something else to add. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add one in the corner here. As we just did with the cabin hide, we're just gonna um, hot glue melt it in place. So once the, um, expanding foams um, gone off these are pretty much going to be solid in into place i do use a good brand of hot glue and really strong you can get the cheaper stuff that doesn't actually hold it very well it's, Pretty good stuff. As you can see, it just sticks onto the glass really, really easy. And I think I might do one over here. To place and then leave it as soon as it's dried so that's pretty much as far as I'm gonna go with the wood I think we'll put some more branches and stuff in after that after we've done everything else so now we're gonna move on to the expanding foam so obviously when you're doing the expanding foam so it sticks to the glass always do your enclosures that's the back 
down. Yeah, you leave it for a little bit until it starts to starts to go off and then you can do the other sides. If you try and do one, then move it, two, and then move it, three, um, immediately it's all just gonna fall into one big horrible mess. So you wanna control this part as well as you can. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add a little bit. We're not gonna go overly crazy with this one because um, I don't want too much carving out, but just enough that it works. So what we're gonna do, you always start from the basic enclosure upwards rather than going top inwards. Otherwise you're gonna get yourself covered in mess. And it's pretty tricky stuff to get off your hands. Trying to do it nice and controlled, don't go crazy, he says, with a little burst like that. Now watch where you put the top while it's in, otherwise it's going to go everywhere. So try and put it in a little tub or something so you don't get the mess. Right, then we're going to do the next side. I'm going to do... Some on this side. So we're not going absolutely crazy on this with expanding foam. Just enough to create a nice, nice wall around the sides. We're going to leave that side. It does expand a vast amount, so we should be okay. Right, we'll let that side and then come back. Now the final side. should be just about there there we go now I didn't want to go too far in with the expanding foam around near the cabin as from previous experience it was a nightmare trying to get the cocoa um, silicone right away in there so we're going to leave ourselves a bit of a gap this time Obviously this wall will be carved back as well. First part's done. So I've just added a few more bits. Another branch and I did this while it was on its side. And I've just pushed it into it. Obviously a bit of mess down the bottom but we'll carve all that out once it's completely cured. So this background will be cut right back. I think that's looking all right. So we've cut a good part of this back. When you're doing these, make sure you're gonna have leave plenty of room for the doors. Yeah, once you've added your cocoa fibre, you're gonna add a, a couple more mil, so really important to Make sure you've got loads of space before you start adding other bits and then you realise you can't shut the door. Now, expanding foam is nice and easy. You can only use 
a scalpel, or even just pick it off in lumps until you get the sort of shape that you really want. So as you can see, I've carved out so the branches will come out a bit. I'm gonna add some uh, rock effect to it. So I might have a bit of rock here, a couple of little bits here and there. And mostly it's gonna be cocoa fibre background. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the carbon where we want it. Then we're gonna get the hoover, hoover out all these little bits of chippy bits that we've done. I also like to keep a gap at the top of the XA Terra. And then you um, put your either mortar or cocoa fibre into the top. Creates a, more of a seal. So I usually leave a tiny little gap right at the top that we can seal in. That way I know every little bit of expanding foam is covered either by mortar or uh, aquarium sealant. So everything's sealed. So if you've got a cricket coming up here or a mealworm, so it, it, it can't get behind there and start eating all your background. When you're hoovering, make sure you just go all the way across everywhere. It'll pick up any loose bits. All the way around. Until it's all nice and clean. So with your mortar, you just want it like a nice sticky, not too wet. Add a little bit of water at a time and then start applying. added some red stuff around the front. Nothing like a good blood soaked cabin. What we're gonna do, we're gonna leave it all to dry and then we're gonna start adding everything else. I reckon that looks pretty cool. We can't unveil it until it's complete. Right, we're giving it a good airing out, so we're all ready to set it up. Everything's all dry. It's looking all right. So we've got to lay this up straight. We're just gonna set this up, add some plants, live moss, and make it look cool. <laughs> of life my sister's actually grown on a bit of old bark so we wash it all off cleaned it i think that slots in there quite well loads harvested yesterday so life moss does actually 
spin it out a bit. free as well as long as you get from somewhere where it's off the beaten track away from any pesticides or anything I've got a little place where I go for my supplies just don't take it all if you find a good place so when you come back next time you've got more to gather I just leave a little bit there over harvest your your moss areas you can start seeing it starting to bring it all to life brings a bit of colour into it all as well Next bit, some leaflet that we also collected. And then bit that down there. Just finish it off. Take away that bare substrate look. guys I think that looks pretty cool now obviously that back bit of the hide is hollow, hollow down there so they can dig down in the hide what you use with my water bowl trick um, just a small tube of um, cork bark and then we slot a little bowl inside so from the front it's hidden I think that looks cool so the only thing to do now is to add the spider it's a Gramstola porteri or portery this is how it came to me I um, had it donated so she's been in here for a while until I managed to build an enclosure but she's a stunning little tea nice little feeder so what we're going to do introduce her to her new home here she is guys running the wrong way she goes straight in have a little wander around only thing now is to put it into the display there she is guys just having a wander around exploring her new home loads and loads of space in there for her There's only one poor thing to do. As we're going to, we start doing with all these ones now. And you say, this enclosure is a 
completed. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that one. I'm going to leave her in there to settle in for a little bit. And um, what you didn't see, what I didn't film, is I've actually put some grass seed um, in certain little places around the enclosure. I'm going to give that a little bit of an experiment to see how it um, progresses and how it grows and makes it look a little bit more cooler. Um, I'll do an update video on that and show you how it's growing and everything in probably in a couple of months or something. So please do stay tuned for that one. Um, also, if you uh, are buying from the spider shop as well, I've got an affiliate link down below. Um, please put that in your bookmark. Uh, I get commission sales uh, every time you buy it doesn't cost you any more but if you are buying through the spider shop it does help me fund some of these taran nice tarantulas that um, go in the enclosure so i'll pop the link down below put it in your bookmark say every time you buy it we get a little percentage back i don't do merchandise and stuff so a li any little bit um to fund all this sort of stuff is much appreciated thank you very much guys Apart from that, um, we are doing a Dust Till Dawn one next. Uh, it's going to be a Balfouri communal, so uh, we're going to be using ex excavator clay. We're going to be using loads and loads of different stuff that you haven't seen before. Apart from that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do comment down below. Um, did you like the enclosure? What do you think of it? Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Notifies you of upcoming videos. Doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. Apart from that, guys, I shall see you later.